KSM. I'm Aiden. And I'm Ryan. Today we are going to be talking to you about jobs that you can get for the summertime. We'll get started after news. The Buffalo racially motivated shooting suspect was due back at court yesterday. The white man accused of slaughtering 10 black people at a Buffalo supermarket was indicated on charges of first degree murder in which he pleaded not guilty. He's due back in court for further proceedings on June 9th at 9.30 a.m. No federal charges have been filed at this time. However, in reviewing over 600 pages he posted online in the chat platform Discord, it is shown that Destiny Mall in Syracuse and the Marketplace Mall in Rochester were two of his other targets because, because he felt the mall in Binghamton, his closest city, didn't have, enough, didn't have a high enough percentage of black people. Wheel of Fortune is doing 60 for live shows and is making a stop in Syracuse on October 14th at the Landmark Theater. Guests, have, guests can audition for the show and have a shot of winning $10,000 or a trip to Paris, Hawaii, and more. Audience members will also get a chance to win at random. Tickets for Syracuse's show go on sale on Tuesday at 3 p.m. The first flights of a baby formula into the U.S. are expected soon as federal officials are putting the final touches on plants to fly in supply from Europe. A flight from Zurich, Switzerland to Plainfield, Indiana is set to include 1.5 million eight ounce bottles of three different types of baby formula, all of which are hypoallergenic. The White House has said that these brands have been prioritized because they serve a critical Medicaid purpose and are in short supply due to a plant's closure. The Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services are seeking a commercial jetliner to begin flying in supplies within days. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nose care bags achieve its goal. It is to help parents and guardians who are staying with their child in a children's hospital to take care of themselves. And we keep a family together. We provide toiletries to meet their physical needs, a candy bar to remind them to eat, and a positive quote and a message for emotional support. Drop off at our collection bin in the high school lobby through May 26 and donate online at noahscarebags.com. Looking for a short time job, part time job? Greek Fest is looking for some employees for their upcoming festival. Scan the QR code for more info. <laughs> oh. The Village of East Syracuse Parks Reaction. Recreation is offering lifeguard certification and recertification. The course courses are on Friday in June at Harlem Park. To register, text 315-857-3403 with your name, age, cell, and email. Lifeguarding is a great opportunity for a summer job. To get that certification, just text the number to register. The number is 315-857-3403. Okay, so we know it can be difficult to get a job over the summer, so it's important to start looking and applying for one as soon as possible. So, we're going to give you some ideas to get started. First off, you can apply for jobs such as cashier or server. These are really good jobs for teenagers and are perfect for summer because of the generally flexible schedules. It might be tough to get an application in the time for summer, so make sure you start the process as early as you can. Next, we'll talk about some jobs that anyone can do on their own with some good weather. To 
Today we'll have a high of 85 and a low of 70, and tomorrow we'll have a high of 90 and a low of 64. And I'm Abby with your weather. Alright, so we already gave you guys some ideas for indoor jobs, but now here are some jobs that you can do all on your own outside. If you love being outdoors and own a lawnmower or a weed whacker, you can go door to door and offer to mow some lawns. The only downside to this job is that the work isn't promised. So if you can, if you can drive, we have another great option for you. That is delivery work. You've probably heard of apps such as Grubhub and Instacart where you can pick up food for customers and deliver it right to their door. There are also many similar apps that don't work with food like Instacart where you can go shopping for people and deliver it right at their doorstep. These delivery jobs are perfect for people, especially students, who are looking for a summer job that is low commitment and pays pretty well. You can also work on your own schedule. This will of course leave time for you to be active and enjoy your summer and get out with your friends to maybe play some sports. Let's see what John has for today's sports. Boston Celtics beat Miami, the Miami Heat, 127-102 to in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Ghost Track team took home the league championship with a score of 177 points. Ariana Brennan destroyed the competition in the pentathlon with a score of 2,156 points. Rachel Ladd won the 2,000 meter steeplechase. The 4x400 relay team consisting of Lilia Pena, Elena Vespi, Gianna DiPietro, and Amber Hayes won, as well as the 4x100 relay team consisting of Sophia Jackson, Riley King, Kaylee Maloof, and Ivani McDuffie. Elena Vespi won the 800, Akwak Kuani won the 100 meter hurdles, and Amber Hayes won the 400 meter hurdles. For field events, Ariana Finkelstein won Shopla, and Rhiannon Butchko won high jump. The boys track team placed second, just behind JD in the league championship. The 100 relay team of Daniel Tovar, Mike Parks, Aiden Hurt, and Rocky L broke the school record and finished with first with a time of 43.54 seconds. The 400 relay team finished first as well with a time of 333.18. Mike Parks won the 110 hurdles and got second in long jump and a high jump. Rocky L got second in the hurdles and won the 100 meter dash and triple jump. Mara Withers got second in triple jump, Aiden Hurt got second in the 400, and LJ Benjamin got third in the 400. Kevin Hasty got second in shot put and third in discus, and Luke Mancini got second in pole vault. Caleb Bird got third in the 800, and Avery McMullen placed third in the pentathlon. Congratulations to all athletes. And the ESM Unified Basketball team defeated CNS 42-24 to on their senior night. In upcoming games tomorrow, baseball has a doubleheader. The first game is at home against Central Square at 11, and the second game is at home against Oswego at 2.30. Boys Across plays at home against Auburn at 6. Go be out. Make sure to go out and support. I'm John with your sports. All right, that's all we have for you today. And we hope we gave you some ideas on places for you to work in the summer. From Ryan, myself, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a good Friday and a great weekend. Go get that bread.